Hello there. You thought that I was gonna, gonna be done for you today. Surprise! We're playing a new game! As you can see, there's a campaign going on right here. Reduced AP cost event. I actually planned on doing a video like this before. You've seen the story. Now you'll get to see me play it out. So, I happen to be pretty close, if you already saw, that I'm pretty close to doing this up. So I decided to spend a little time with you lot and bring you into the fold of this game that I play. You thought I was just uploading the story? Haha, <laughs> foolish. We're gonna do this right now. We're gonna play to get 18k. 1899, I believe. 18, no, 19k is safe. But I don't know how this is gonna go. This is gonna be very repetitive, so thank you for joining me. We're gonna play with this girl for a little while. And we'll probably switch him out because I don't wanna level her up all the way, and she's pretty close. So now you get to experience all the fun-loving times we have with Action Timony. That's right. That is a game that I also play. Should I put this in the set? I don't know. Maybe. I do have story modes. You thought I would never play this with my voice, but you are wrong. You may have been hoping I wouldn't. Oh, that's not nice. But I am. I hate them. I hate these women. I'm very excited to share this moment with you. It's very sweet. It's, it's like when you have a, your favorite book you read, except instead of a book, it's a mature adult type of thing, and nobody really should know about it, and nobody should ever even be aware you play it, because it brings out thoughts of you, and, you know, that's just the way it is. But this is a different type of thing. This is like the uh, T version of what you're thinking of. So we're just going to play this over and over. This is what you do in this game. This is the whole content. You get to see all the fun and games unfold. As you see, I do play this game quite a bit. And I have put some uh, coin in this game. And there she is. If you remember her from the story event. I'm not going to let you see the cutscene every time. I just literally couldn't get to it in time. Let's see a super attack. You'll get to see this a lot, at least for a time being. Sweet. But she's not strong enough to actually kill her. She's like the only one of the only characters I have. I'll show you after this what I mean. So yeah, the action time and in. They are a game that I play. It's a game. It's fun. It's you don't have any. Ta there's no tactics in it. I'm afraid. I gotta say there's there's no tactics and there's no princesses. Some would argue that these girls are never going to be princesses. Some would argue that they'd be wrong, though. Who knows? They might be a princess. They have princess outfits. I don't particularly like Tokiko. I'm going to let you in on a little secret. When I first started playing this game, the first day that I found it online, thanks to a mature Doken tuber, that I won't reveal his identity, but he's the one that kind of got me to know this game existed there was a time when i was looking for a game that had a, oh my god i didn't put the right girl on her this is all a waste gosh darn it oh man let us sit here and think about our folly hmm. that's tough man so what i meant to do i guess i could show you what i got going on here now i wouldn't say i'm a whale in this game no far from it but I would say I am a bit of a clownfish. Though in my humble opinion, everybody who spends a dime on this game is a clownfish. It's just some clownfishes are bigger than others. Because we're all clowns. Grimmery does not care about us. But we continue to support them and give them money because we want their things. Particularly, we want that cat. Everybody wants that cat. She's loved by everybody. The cat is untouchable. But we're going to level up Tokiko here. I was telling you a story about her. See, the good thing about this, in a way, is there's no story. What am I doing this for? It's so stupid. Oh man, I wasted that. There's really no story or no like conversation to put here. But 
I don't know if I mentioned this already. The reason we're here is because this, not this, but because of this. I was going to do this, and I might do this off camera, or I might do it at the end, I don't know, I don't know. But we're here for this. I decided, you know, I was going to do this video eventually, and I decided not to do it a uh, day later and do it now. And I ain't going to worry about that stuff right now. We'll worry about that in a little bit. Actually, I have to do a thing. Not that. That's not what I need to do. What I have to do is move some girls around. Because we're about to improve upon everything. Yep, you can see there's a lot of there's a lot of stuff I got here going on here. I actually, honestly, I, why did I put her there? In all honesty, this was kind of the whole point. Um, so when I downloaded this game originally, she knows what's up. I was not planning. I actually was planning to play this. Out and about. I was actually planning on streaming this, but I don't stream. And I was actually decided to do a video on it. So I will. We got this is the team I always put up as my additional item drop team. You see, I got where's this chick at? You see, we got a whole like color matching thing here. You got the red and the yellow, and then you got the brown. Then you got the the pink. The pink and brown, the jumpsuits, they're very cool. That's my thing. We're going to be seeing that girl a lot. We're going to beat her up a lot. This is Tokiko. I uh, actually do not like Tokiko, but there are parts of her that I like. I call this outfit that I've created, this is a thing that I've created. Where is it at? This is special. You see, you can get color variants. I shouldn't be doing this. I actually am on a limit. Uh, but this is my bronze statue Tokyo. Tokyo. Yes, this is Tokyo. Uh, this is my bronze statue Tokyo, because that's how I feel about her. I don't think very highly of her. I actually don't like her at all. When I first played this game, and I didn't really know who she was, because I wasn't into the all the source material. And uh, I've never seen her before. And she just looked like a basic bitch anime girl. She was in her suit, which I do own, because I, I did, you know, I clowned up and I bought her. So I do have that suit. Maybe I'll put it on a little bit later just to show you how basic bitch she can look. But I call this uh, my bronze statue. She's kind of like the Oscars in a way. She's uh, coveted by many, but wanted by... Well, she's coveted by many, but really she uh, adds no value to you or your life in any way at all. But she can do things and she can get the job done. That's what we're here for. I've got to be very careful with her, so we're not going to play with her the whole time. We're going to see me... I'm probably going to move around, move some girls around today, you know, do, do different ones, just to mix it up a little bit. I won't do Emily because that'd be boring and I don't want to just, you know, not play the game. That'd be kind of stupid. That'd be lame. So, I really didn't know how to stream this, though. I didn't know that I wanted to do the stories. I have been uploading the stories in, like, little separate parts, but personally... I think that's better as far as the story goes. I'll probably always do it that way, even if I do stream this more. Not stream. I don't stream. Even if I do do videos of this more. Why can't I do this? All right. This controller is not very good. The dead zone's pretty bad. Ow. This lady right here is going to be playable soon. Not that succubus. Though, I do have a thing I want to say to all you people out there who... If you play this game, then shout out to you. Come say hi. I'm going to get hit by this lady. i got to avoid these hearts. I hate the succubus because they can like confuse you and make your controls go reverse. Which, if you're a pilot, I guess you don't really care because you're using airplane controls. And I'm not sure if there's like that's accurate or not. But I know that like old Goldeneye used to have like controls like that. And they were called like airplane controls. Well, yeah. like just... What was I saying? Oh, yeah. Succubus. Yeah, I would like for them to create a succubus character. There actually is a character in this game who is a succubus named Lilum. I think she'd be a good character. She seems to be pretty popular as far as the fan base goes from what I've seen. And I've seen in the, uh, the timing in video specials. You know how uh, certain app games have their, their Doken Nows, their Legends Party something. I can't remember what the Legends thing is called. I play that too, but I can't stream that on. I'm not streaming. I can't play that. Not for the time being, anyway. But yeah, I suppose that's what we're going to do. This is what I would be doing normally. I just wouldn't be talking as much, and I wouldn't be bragging about my bronze statue Tokiko here. 
She's total trash, but that's okay. We love her anyway. I think I said that already. I don't really love her, but I am a collector of the end. And I I actually have everybody, as you saw, except for one person. Like I said, though, I am a clownfish, and I don't really level girls up as fast as I probably should, as far as content goes, because it costs money. And uh, it doesn't normally cost money. Like, if you're ever planning on playing this game, I don't fully recommend joining this. I, I don't know. I, I've been asked before by somebody if they if I should they should start playing it. And honestly, it is better. I will say this. It, it is way better. But Grimmery is... They're a sus company in, the, in a lot of ways. As much as I love them, it's kind of like a bad relationship. Like, you keep coming back even though they keep cheating on you. Like, I'm not trying to say I'm Will Smith up in here. But, you know, the game does like to get you a little NTR action in here. And I'm not talking about the way you're thinking about this. This game will definitely hit the cuck button on you a few times. They find ways to cuck you a lot. Tokiko is an example of that, actually. She's a garbage unit. Nobody really likes her. Especially me. <laughs> it's just me dumping on Tokiko. This isn't even supposed to be about that. I love Tokiko. She's great. She's my favorite. She's got black hair. She's very basic. And I like basic bitches. Because basic bitches need love too. So thank you Tokiko for being so basic. And being so perfectly basic. And having normal hair. And oh my gosh. I wish. I hope that if we do get this story back. I want to show everybody how jink her eyes used to look. Her face looked like somebody slapped her. After she insulted them for being bald. Gosh I'm dating this video with that reference. Uh. But seriously, her face looks so bad. Her face don't look so bad now, as you can see. Her face looks quite good now. She's actually looks really pretty. Her body is all like, you know, curvaceous and all that stuff, which is what all the guys come to for the yard. As you all know, I totally did not miss that. I blame the lag on the recording. So basically, just, we're, we're just gonna beat this girl up for like half an hour. I'm assuming it'll take half an hour. It'd be nice if I could just skip that animation, but enjoy seeing her fall down. As you will, as you will. I gotta be careful. Keep an eye on that. Keep an eye on that. A, not AP. Keep an eye on her uh, level. She said Mighty Mac. Is she a Dragon Ball fan? She could cook Goku some meals. I'm sure Chi-Chi wouldn't like it, but she could probably take her. I mean, if you don't try, you could probably see Chi-Chi in her. Everybody kind of dislikes her Chi-Chi, though, so it might be disrespectful to call her Chi-Chi. Also, you're getting a, a, a lot of TS, uh, not the TS, TTS. You're getting a lot of TTS with this character. Like, uh, I'm not even trying to do that, but it's just ass all up in your face, some of these camera angles. I'm only doing this because like it's like the best move for her. I'm not trying to like get the YouTube sensors all crazy. This outfit in low key is probably a bad idea to use because it is pretty scantal. Was that did I ever finish my uh, hypothesis about the succubus? It wasn't a hypothesis, it was just a necessity. So anyway, there's these game you enemy units words. There's these enemies in the game called Succubus. That's not their official name, but they're basically Succubus. This, this, this bitch here is one of them. She can get annoying as well. And they can do a thing. Do your thing. Uh, we need, like, the super elite Succubi to do it. Hold on real quick. I'm just going to use my mouse to get this up. Anyways. Technically, this is not a mobile game, so I don't know if we can uh, add this into the crew. Alright, you do your thing. So you see these hearts. Now I am confused. I go up and down. My up is down. My down is up. My left is right. Basically everything is opposite day when you have this on. So what I posit is, there is a character in this game. Let's see, in this series of games. Not series of games. Well, I mean, yeah, technically. So this, we don't, we don't, we're not going to talk about those other ones, though. Uh, there's this character in this series of games called Lilum. She's actually a supporter in this game. I could show her to you, but time is of the essence. I don't have time to mess around. Maybe another time. And I think that she's pretty popular, whatever. But I don't really care about that. The reason I'm saying I want her to be playable. And the reason I want her to be playable is because I want her to have a skill. 
that confuses the enemy. It's like, we get confused. Like that stupid Succubus did when she hit her heart at me, sorry. I want a Succubus character to do that. And there's only one Succubus character I can think of, and it's Lily. I feel like it's a possibility, because... Honestly, if Felicia, who is another villain character in this game, who's not even a time in it, so technically she shouldn't even be in. Also, well, Obro is kind of a time in it. We'll talk about her later. But she's not even a time in it, so I don't even know why uh, it would matter. Uh, so if she's not a time in it, and Willem's had a story, so it's very possible. I do think that we have opened this precedent, at least, where if you have a villain unit, like look at Micah over here. She used to be just a bad girl. She was an enemy, you fought, you beat up, and you constantly destroyed to get the items from above. That was her role. That's what she did. And now, in a few days, she'll be playable. She'll be, you know, you'll be able to be the vivacious vixen of fire. And you won't have to be Tokiko with her, like, Denzel Washington looking ass. I don't even know what that means. But she has a clock tower in her hand, and that's pretty cool. I know everybody's gonna hate me for this video because they everybody loves Tokiko. I don't even know why she's such a basic bitch. Like, uh, granted, I mean, look at her outfit. She's she's got the goods. She's got the they they little went a little crazy on the assets here a little bit if you see, but still, like, it's Tokiko. She looks like a basic. Like she's got black hair. The one issue I have with this game, this is a small issue that is really just my issue. We don't have any white haired bitches. Where are the white haired bitches at? We need a white-haired bitch in this game. Like, they exist. They're supporters. There's a few of them in the game already in supporters. But we don't have a playable white-haired bitch. We got blue hair. We got more than one blue hair. We got yellow hair. Yellow. Uh, orange. Brown. Black. Basic color. But what we don't have is a white-haired chick. And I think this game is missing that. And Asagi's technically purple. Let's get out of here. Where we at? So anyway, yeah, that's my pitch. That's my pitch for Succubus care for uh, Lilum to be a playable character. But I do have a theory that all the characters who have event supporters have the possibility of becoming playable. Just because it's happened twice now. It's happened with Micah and it's happened with Alicia, who you haven't seen yet. Unless you know what I'm talking about, and it's very likely because you're not probably watching this video. If you don't know what this is, I'm not... Nobody wants to watch me enough to say, oh yeah, I'm gonna watch this guy play a random game with half-naked women in it, even though, I'm gonna give you a little bit of inside baseball, that was the idea in the past. There was a game I wanted to play, it just didn't work out. The, uh, the power wasn't, oh my gosh, what the hell? <laughs> the powers that be did not allow for this to occur, unfortunately. So, there was gonna be a very mature game that we were going to play on this website channel, on this website, on this YouTube channel of mine. But that didn't come to fruition because software and all that shit. Damn, that was badass. Yeah. Yeah, I like that weapon. Look at that weapon. It looks so good in this outfit. I mean, she may be a bronze statue, but hey, even bronze statues can look good. Alright, let's hold on for a minute. Where are we at? I'm keeping an eye on this. Oh, it's going to take a lot longer than I thought. Maybe we can switch out. Who, who else can I show you guys? I might need to clean up some of these girls. Um... I want somebody who can do this fast, because I need to, like, speed this up. Uh, this is taking too long. She's, I got her red, I got her red set on her. No, she ain't gonna take forever. She gonna take forever. I can do this. There's really no reason for me to ever use her, because you see, I have, like, she's max. This is Shiranui. She is possibly the most popular character but not in this game but she is good she's good job give her that oh she's on red it's gonna take too long oh boy but she'll be able to finish the job way faster 
I'm sorry to say, shut up. I'm sorry to say that I don't have any fancy story for why she's in this outfit. She's literally just in this outfit because it's the newest outfit she has. And that's for a lot of girls. That's why a lot of girls are in the outfits they're in. But she can destroy this shit way quicker. Maybe not with the set I have on her, but her green is amazing. I probably should have actually put that on. This might take longer because I did. Yeah, this is uh, not going well. It's because I didn't put. So this is a lesson, everybody. It's very important to have the right supporters on your units, because if you don't, bad things happen. Like they get beat. Also, I don't have my clones. Why do I have her in red anyway? That's a terrible idea for her. What kind of drug was I smoking when I did that? That is a gripe of mine. I mean, I take time to level my characters up. Anybody who knows me knows I like to do it old school. Though this game doesn't really give you an option. It's not like you can use an item to level your girls up. You have to do it through the gameplay. Ora, ora. How do I get this off? But unlike uh, Tokiko, bronze looking bitch, we can take this out. Oh, damn, she didn't kill on one hit. She made me look bad. Water or not? Nah, I would be wrong anyway. Fire versus water. The greatest value, battle of all. You may have heard with me putting my headphones off. I just realized I don't really need headphones on to play this because I know the sounds. But what I will do real quick is I will put the right stuff on her. I can show you some of my supporters along the way. We're just going to make this like really, really, really broken. So we're going to throw her on. We're going to throw her on. Again. Oh, she's on Tokugo. See, that's why Tokugo was doing so good. She had her. That unit is beyond broken. Do I want to use her? I mean, yeah, I'm trying to do it fast. Put her on. We'll put her on, I said. Oh, she was green. I could use Obero. She might be TPS. I don't know if I can use that character. I might need to change her outfit. <laughs> TOS, not TPS. That's something else. Let's go! So you... What was I? I don't even know what I was talking about. I got distracted by everything else. But yeah, that was my idea for the sucky books anyway. They need to do that. That should definitely happen. But Mike is coming and that's going to be great. You are having a blast with that little ball, dude. Huh? So the thing about this chick is she's very slow at the, in a way. But she's like super powerful. Especially now. I'm assuming Mike is going to be the same way. The power of water compels you to fall, to regret your folly. Now you may be wondering, why are you using the cat person, dude? That doesn't even help. Well, you might not. You might not even know what I'm talking about. Are you even here? I don't even know. Why would you talk like that? Who talks like that? Come on. Come on, man. But uh, what you may be saying is, you know, it makes sense you would ask that question. Like, you know, she's not offering me anything, and this game does have supports. I guess I could teach some people how to play because I'm doing this. Well, what am I going to do? I'm going to sit here and tell you how to play the game for two hours? That's terrible. I'm not going to be here for two hours, but you know, you get the gist. The plan is to get 18. And actually, it's just to get 18. Like, 18k or something. But, you know, so I still got a bonus, which I might, I might do as well. Ah, shit. I should just use the mouse for this. The controller just doesn't do the job. If I wasn't in more of a rush, and this is only the two hour thing, the, the thing, the thing, the thing this game does is they do these random, what they call special events or special campaigns, which is basically just, they do a thing. Like, you get extra gold, you get half AP, 
you get to do something. I think there's another one. I can't remember what it was, like boost your level or something like that. They have one where you like it costs less money to get your units up. There's all types of stuff you do. This will be the last time we use this shit, because I actually don't like using characters without getting anything out of it. But I will show you off this character a little bit. Because, you know, you gotta keep it uh, fresh. The Fresh Prince of Bel Air. That wasn't even a, a thing. That was just me saying the Fresh Prince of Bel Air. Don't read too much into it. It's just because I use the word fresh. It's not. In case you ever uh, want to play a game of rock, paper, scissors, but instead of rock, you play water, paper, water, fire, now you know who wins against fire. Water always beats fire no matter what. The hottest fire can always be taken out by the coldest of waters. You can throw a piece of ice in a fire, and it'll be fine. The Well, the ice will melt, but if you pour a gallon of water on fire, that's it. You're done. It's The fire is going to go away. Now, if you drop, like, a, a cup worth, that's not going to go away, obviously. you got to be realistic. I mean, you can't be silly with her situation. I think she's blue. Oh, we can make this work, I think. I think. See, the reason i got to put this cat on is because it boosts your chance of getting items. Oh, uh, let's get her... So, if the other girl, where's she at, was a bronze statue... She might be a silver statue. Technically, as far as gameplay-wise, she's probably a bronze statue because she's not that like good. I love the gameplay of her, actually. I think she's fun. But a lot of people probably don't. And we're going to clean it up a little bit. We're going to take her out of a towel because she's a young, a young lass. It's a little cold outside. We don't want her to catch a cold. But she has this one move that I really like to do. So if I was to customize her outfit, which is just Tokyo's outfit, but a secret outfit that I've unlocked. This is actually the second one that I ever made. The first one was a Sakura, which I guess I can show you. You got a peek of her, who she was. That was the orange haired girl. Uh, why am I talking to people like they don't know what this is? Like seriously, if you don't know what this is, I'm, I don't know how you came across it. If there's only one way you come to this video, which is just me hitting the freaking same girl over and over again. Like, I need to be put in freaking juvenile for it. This is the move I like, by the way. Look at her go. Little thing just spins around it. It's a terrible move. You should never use it in any real capacity, in any, like, high-level gameplay. But in this gameplay, it's fine. Because, I mean, it's not like you're going to lose. You, you, you could do your best, but you're not going to lose. Actually, I probably should have put a different attack on her, one that would give her health. Because I think we got So what do you think? One viewer in this video, you get to make the decision. Do I make her have a gold outfit? Do I make her have a silver outfit? Do I make her have a platinum outfit? What is her going to be a thing? Because for some reason we've decided at this very moment that Tokiko's outfit is basically a uh, statue outfit. And that's what we're going to do from now on with this outfit. Any girl that ever gets this outfit that I got, we're going to do that. Is that still like confused if I I'm, like power up? Yes. Question is answered. Well, no, I, I lost it. And there's the fun, right? The fun never ends, except when you die. She knows it does. Look at the heart. Look at that heart I got on her. It was great. It's a brilliant creation. Imagine if they put it, so you can color some outfits, not all outfits, eventually it'll be all outfits, but you can color some of the outfits, and imagine if they made it so you can color the weapons too. That would be a terrible idea, and I hope that they're not ever going to come across this. This is probably pretty far in the video, so they might not even get a chance to, but I really hope they never come up with that idea because I just came up with it, because that's just another thing to throw your money at, and I don't like that. Oops. 
It don't matter if she's reversed. She doesn't need to move to beat your ass. Watch. See, she's not even moving. Yeah, this move is terrible. It really leaves you wide open for attacks. <laughs> if any of them hit a, hit a critical on me, I would have been dead. It happens sometimes. But look at her. She's taking a lot of damage. But she's doing a lot of damage. It's called Robert's Revenge. And oh, what a revenge Robert gets. That's the kind of revenge you give to somebody who's done you wrong. Who's done her wrong. Was it Robert? What did Robert do? Did he not give her the parfait that he was supposed to give her? Was it the last slice of pizza that she wanted? And he said, no, this is mine. And he ate it without any care in the world. We'll never know what Robert did or what his real revenge was meant to be. But we will know this. That Robert's revenge is a, well, is a great move. And I can't do any more because there's too many people around. <laughs> but we can grow big. That's a thing we can do. We can have claws of fire. Oh gosh, she's all the way over there. I'm not even gonna get to her. Slam! Ow. Can't even do it. Robert can't get his revenge anymore. Ow. See, she just kicked me as I was just standing there twirling my heart around and she kicked me. She kicked me. How rude. Good stuff. And then let's take a break. Let's have a, a nice intimate chat. And instead, I'm going to show you the greatest unit in the game. Not because she's like super powerful, or not because she's broken, she can't be un she can't be touched. The fact of the matter is, this is the best unit in the game. Not because the game, not because she makes the game, but because the game made her specifically. Because now, I don't know if you heard my little tappity tap taps of my controller. I tried to keep it away from the mic so you didn't. But, you don't hear that anymore. You know why? Because I'm not even playing. Look at her go. I don't have to play anymore. She's the best. You may have seen her do her work in one of my videos where I put her to the task. And she showed off her skills like she's doing now. So chat, I'm gonna pretend you're the chat. Let's have an intimate moment right now. How are you doing? How are things going at home? Things going well? You been eating all your vegetables? That's good. Vegetables are important. Honestly, vegetables are better than I remember them. You know, Hollywood likes to make it seem like vegetables are bad, and kids hate vegetables. Why is that? I don't understand. Like, is it bad? To eat healthy? Is it bad to eat broccoli? I freaking love broccoli. I don't need no cheese. I don't need no ranch. I mean, I'll use it, of course. I'm only human. But you don't need it. Broccoli is so good. And cauliflower? Cauliflower is basically broccoli, but white. Some people may not think that's a good thing. Some people may not like the idea of white broccoli. I get it. I get it, there's some people out there who feel that way. I'm not going to bl blame you. There's red tomatoes. There's yellow bananas. I've heard there's blue bananas. I don't know if that's true, but I'm pretty sure if there was such a thing as blue bananas, that Donkey Kong would be all over that. He'd be all over it. Diddy too. All, the whole Donkey Kong tribe would be all over the banana bunch. I can tell you if they were blue. I would like a blue banana. If blue bananas were like, tasted like blueberries, that'd be good. What if there was like yellow blueberries that tasted like bananas? That'd be insane. You know how they say like everything tastes like chicken? What? Not everything, but like all the meats. You eat crocodile, oh it tastes like chicken. 
You eat alligator. Oh, it tastes like chicken. What is an alligator and a crocodile but the chicken of the sea of the swamp? Saltwater swamplands. Think about that. Alright, I'm gonna say something a little controversial. It might make you think. You haven't seen this yet. Congratulations. Look at her go. What is it about babies? Like, okay, the first person to ever have a baby. Let's take out the Bible. That's the controversial part. Let's take out the Bible and God gives the birth to the baby or Mother Mary or, you know, Adam and Eve, whatever you believe. Imagine being in situ the first humans to ever have children. How do you think that, like, to, to think that a child could come from another human being? It almost seems like some kind of mystical kind of crazy stuff if you think about it because who who came up with that like who who got like really fat one day like the lady was really big and the man was like i don't understand i don't ever get this big but she's really big i don't get it and she got bigger and then she got sick did he wonder were there times where he's like would it be better to let her die because i don't know i don't want her to suffer should I hit her with this rock? He had a rock in his hand. And he's like, should I do it? But he, and maybe some people did. Maybe some guys did go through there and do the rock thing. I don't know. But no, it's the first people. So no, 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 no rock. No rocks were had. No, no women were hurt in this scenario, in this pretend story. But to think about a kid coming out of another, like a person coming out of another person. It's crazy. Who would have thought that a, a person could come from another person? The idea that something can grow inside somebody is insane. You probably came out of somebody. You Most likely you did, because I'm guessing you didn't come out of a test tube. If you did come out of a test tube, holler at me. I'd like to hear that story. But everybody came from somebody. And the first people who ever had to experience that, how did they react? Did, did they lose their shit? Was the lady confused that a, a person came out of her? Was a maternal instinct so ingrained into them that they didn't even care? They just like, I love this thing. I want to have this thing all my life. I want to treat this thing as it is my own. And I want to give it everything. Did that just like as a snap of the hat? That's not a saying. Just come about. What is up with that? You know? Think about that. Think about that. The first person to have a baby. What a wild ride that must have been. If you could be a fly on the wall, if flies even exist at that point, to see the scenario that occurred the first time. Again, we're taking out the Bible. There's no, like, you know, being that. This is, in this tell we're telling, this is just humans being humans. Nobody knew. Nobody knew about anything about birth and contraception and all that jazz. That's a crazy thought to think about. It. Just saying, that is a crazy thought. Babies is coming out. Man, her weapon needs to be upgraded. You see how blurry that was? That was really blurry. I hope that I wonder if that's going to be her, like, standard weapon. Because in case you don't know, again, assuming you never watched or played Time in that is, uh, they have these, like, rare weapons or, like, normal weapons that are trash, but they look, you know, they have a cool design. You're never going to use them unless you want to do some challenge, like some crazy people out there. But, could you imagine that? Imagine nothing. When we're done with the imagining part. We're done with that. But that, that whole, that whole story is done. But her weapon was so bad. I really look forward to seeing that. I, I look forward to using that character, to be honest. So, this game, I don't know. I'm not, you may have understood from Once Upon a Time, which the, the Grim Fairy Tale game, I like the idea of it. I enjoyed that it was a fairy tale thing. But then I got into it. It's just like that, what's that game called? 
Not a Clash of Clans. Idol, idol Warriors, Idol Game, Idol Slash Game, you know, whatever. Um, I just, I, I try to get into it. Maybe if I wasn't doing a video, I would actually sit down and like get into it and find out what the story's about. I don't know, and actually care about it. But for whatever reason, it's just those type of idol games. As much as I want them to be enjoying to me, they're just not. They're kind of boring, and I. I want to get back to that game because I like the idea of it and it has some cool stuff. And if I stuck to it, I might have even had a skin that I was for a character I didn't have yet. But there's a frog in it. Yeah, that's fun. I don't know what the uh, result was. It's the only video I've made in recent history that got a like, so I think I might have missed the boat on that one a little bit. Well, we don't need to do that. But, I don't know. Because I always had a thing about mobile games. There was a period of time where I was playing mobile games all the time. Zombie Farm had all that. Where you at? Where we at here? 14. We're almost done, guys. And I think we're going to need to do it. We'll keep talking. There was a... There was a bunch of games. There was a ninja game that was basically just a zombie game. It was called Zombie Farm. Zombie Farm was one of the first mobile games. Zombie Farm and Dragon Bell. I remember Dragon Bell. I put a lot of time, never any money in that game. Had a lot of cool dragons, a lot of rare dragons. They added this Wheel of Fortune thing at one point. And I remember doing it so much. Because you could do like daily spins and whatnot. You know how those kind of like idol games do this too. They have daily spins that are clearly rigged. But even though they don't say they're rigged, they're clearly rigged. Trust me, they're rigged. I know because it got to the point where I was able to pinpoint the next spot that the arrow was gonna go before I got the main reward which I think was like some super duper rare dragon egg or something I remember watching it go and I I learned a pattern it had a pattern to it and I was like this is what's gonna happen and sure enough it did this wasn't RNG like they like they promised it was it was something else it was pre predetermined so basically no matter how many times you did it uh, let me show you a new move here Fireball! That wasn't a fire. Oh, that was a fireball. Cool. Was that her fireballs? Who knows? But yeah, so basically I figured out that it wasn't a matter of randomness. You just did it a certain amount of times. Now the amount of times you did it might differ because I don't think it was always like set, but it, it was something you could always tell. Like I remember going back and just being able to tell what was coming next and I was always right. That was the game I played. That and Zombie Farm. Zombie Farm was one of the first games that I played every mobile. And I played that game for a long time. They had a zombie battle game with cards. Funny how cards come in. This is back when card games, I guess, were new on the phone or I didn't know about them. Whatever. This isn't like a WWE Champions type of thing. I spent a little bit of money on that game, but not a lot. I remember, actually, I won a contest for one of the cards. It was a rare card that only came out. It was like a, a festival event, and it was like a zombie with a pumpkin on it. And I actually put together me and another guy who I knew at the time, who is no longer around, we created a jack-o'-lantern of the dude, and they sent me a card in the game. It was great. The company, not so much. I think the company is actually making, a, not a mobile game, but they actually have a Steam game with zombies, which might be interesting. I might see if I buy that. Maybe that would be something I could play for you guys. I don't know. thought about it. It's not a mobile game. You know, that's cool. Uh, but yeah, that was my thing about that. And Zombie Farm was just a game where you collected zombies. You had zombies on your farm, you had big zombies, you had little zombies, you had medium-sized zombies, zombies with hats, and then rare zombies. Now, this was back when you didn't have to pay money to get any of the zombies. At all. These are games I didn't spend money on. The first game I started playing mobile and paid money to was actually the zombie card fighting game. And that was only like, maybe like, twenty dollars on a gift card or something that was before i really even cared about spending money on games like this and then i got tired of them the mobile games just got boring to me and i've always said that this is the thing about mobile games i do still feel very strongly that this is so it's weird that i'm sitting here playing this because i do play other games mobile games at least two other mobile games even though i try to play more for some reason i can never get into them i don't know if it's the dailies i don't know what it is but i never really get into them for some reason this game is not a great game. It's kind of trash. I'll be honest with you. 
it's not that much content to do. You could literally do two runs and then not pick it up for the rest of the day, except maybe to pick up some of your bonuses. There's facilities in this game that you can get items, and it's just collecting items. And it's re you see how repetitive this is. Like, this, is a, this video is proof of how little there is to do in this game. You just repetitively play the same thing. There's no change up. There's no challenge. There's no. I mean, there's challenge in some ways, but even when there's challenge, it's not like their challenges are, are limited. Like you finish it after a certain time, you can't even use it again. So you can't even play the challenging level for fun for free. It is ridiculous. But for some reason, and I don't know why, I don't know if it's the meme of the fact that it's of a adult variety game or what the real reason is. But just like, I can't remember the movie that I'm trying to reference. I can't quit you. I can't quit this game. There is a fallacy about where you play games and you put money into it. You want to keep playing because you want to make your investment worth the money. It's a little bit of that. But I put money in games I stopped playing before. So I don't know. I don't think it's that. Because I, I used to play the South Park game. I liked the South Park game fun enough. It was a fun game. I, I spent a little coin on it. It wasn't anything big. Just their buy for the first time type deal. And I did, and then I, I mostly just like the story. See, a lot of these games, I like the story. This game, the yeah, story's okay. I like the story. It's cool. It, it's not as dynamic as it could be. Speaking of the story, let's, oh shit, nice. We're almost done. It was good. But, I've always said, and I still believe this to this day, I played the Naruto game, played that for a little while. The Naruto mobile game, thank goodness I never invested in that game. Man, that's that's a rough story. But mobile games, all mobile games are the same, essentially. All gacha mobile games are the same, I won't say. I know mobile games are their own beast, but they're technically like gacha games. But honestly, why do you care about getting this stuff? I think it's the IP that makes this worth playing. I... Okay, now, I've shit on this game a lot. I will give it some praise after the fact. Because I am playing it, so I can't say it's trash, trash. It has its it has its stuff that I like. Um, but, mobile games are always just a different UI. Just find the IP that you like. That's what I've always said. It is, they're all, that's a different UI, the same UI. They all use the same UI. The same interface, the same idea. You get characters, you level them up. You feed other characters to the characters. This game don't do that. Or you feed items to the characters, and you're done. That's what a mobile game. That's what a mobile gacha game is. Most games run off the fact that it's a popular IP. The Naruto games, honestly, they use games from cut. They use cutscenes from the video game, which I thought was lame, and would probably be one of the reasons I never considered even getting into it because I thought that was stupid. There are a lot of games like that. Some games never go past that. Some games, like the idle games, just become different kind of monsters to collect. I genuinely want to know why the idle games are so fun. Because I'm sure the same people who play the item, idle games will come here, watch this video, and say, Why do you think this is fun? You're literally just doing the same thing over again. Near the end of the video, you didn't even play the game. You let the game play itself. Which, another thing about mobile games. A good mobile game. And this is something, this is a little, this is a little, a little secret, I think, that I'm going to share with that. all the mobile game developers. Grimmery, you can get a hand on this too. Just saying, yeah, listen to me, listen to me. A good mobile game is a mobile, is a game that you can play and enjoy. But, a good mobile game is also a game that you can put to the side and not play at all. Because it is a mobile game. And when games know they're mobile games. That's a good thing. Certain games. Token. Um, <laughs> I won't name any names. Token. Um, it took them a long time to realize that mobile games need to have an autoplay feature. This game did not. Doesn't have autoplay feature. 
That's why we're using this chick right here. She's maxed. I get nothing for this. At least when I was using basic bitch Tokiko, I was getting level ups. A little dangerous, because if I get too high, you know, I need to show you a little something else. I ain't gonna show you that today. But she is auto mode. She has become auto mode. Recently, they come up with this new thing where it's like these little uh, tickets. I didn't mean to do the. I was gonna show you the ticket. That was gonna be a perfect segue to show you the. It's a file, and you click the file. It's kind of like a skip ticket type thing, and I hit retry, which I never actually do on purpose. So that sucks. But an auto mode is what makes these games what they are. Like, a mobile game is a mobile game, and the problem with some mobile games, and it's a two-way street, a mobile game can either be too mobile, where you don't play it really at all, it plays itself, and you just watch it, and that's boring. It's fine to do that on occasion, but I want to be able to work towards something. This game at least has a supporter you can unlock, it has items you can get, costumes, as you see. They think this costume was free? Well, technically for me, this costume specifically was free. I didn't spend money on this because other people did, but when this costume came out, this is before I decided I actually wanted to put money in this game, which is probably my best decision in the world to not do that, which is also why I don't have a certain supporter that should have came back, but ah, well, I digress. That's not what this is. Not, we're not talking about that right now. We're on a different tangent. Most mobile games, like the idle mobile game, the Grim Fairy Tale game, trust me, I want to play it again, but I'm not feeling desire to. It's just not fun. It's just not a fun mobile game to play, to me. But there are people that love idle mobile games, but then you have to wonder. Again, that goes to what I said before. The same UI, but a different IP. That's all it is. Let's check our situation, because I don't want to do too much. Uh, so, this is the first time ever. I've never used these before. You, person, right there in the orange shirt, you're the first person who gets to see this. Yes, you. You. You get to see this. I've never used these items because I'm one of those people that will stack these up. I'm going to stack these to 999 before I really use them in session. I'm going to get so many, it won't even matter how many I use because it's never going to match up. That's how I do other games and. Yeah, trust me, I don't want for much. In most games, I don't want for much in-game currency and items, ever. I, I don't even think, I, I just, I don't even think about it. I don't even think about it, dude. Uh, let's tap it. What does that do? It will use 45 AP. Okay, it uses AP, of course. Take five of those. Whoa! That was badass. <laughs> I didn't expect a little graphic. Let's look at our progress. Look at all this stuff we got. Look at that. Look at all that! That was pretty cool. How many do we need now? Oh shit. <laughs> that was pretty good. I'm probably gonna do this. This is probably about to end the game. <laughs> We're probably about to end it right now with this. Let's do that again. Let's do that again, everybody. Hold on. Slash! Yeah, that's cool. See, they got stuff. We'll do one more. Slash slash. I do like that effect. That's a nice effect. Good job, Tiny Me. Good job. Alright, and that's another way you can do auto, apparently. <laughs> oh boy. Let's do it again. Sorry, this has become just the watch this happen stream now. But she is maxed out, by the way. She was before you had to get cut back. We'll do one or two more. I gotta get to, you know, I got stuff. I can't be here all night with you guys. I love to do it. Actually, this would be the best time to use the, uh, the little vouchers because, oh, wait, no, I could use this on another girl, though, so I could actually get a level up. I should be using this on basic bitch Tokiko. Shit. All right, we're gonna give you a treat. I'm gonna... And if you hear this, but I'm about to put the, the headset back on so you know it's about to get serious. You've been through a lot. 
you saw a lot of nothing happen. But it was a cool effect. I'm going to show you I have a special name for this girl right here. We call her the Boss Breaker. That's not cool. Is that what I called her? I can't even remember what I called her. What did I call her? <laughs> yeah, she knows what's up. Oh, wait, no. I call her the boss killer. I'm sorry. We call her the boss killer. Her weapons have been designed to increase crits and do a lot of damage. I don't know why this is a thing. That, that should never be a thing. It's my work, though, because I think technically Micah is a human. I'm going to show you the boss killer. I forgot what I called her properly. I'm about to show you the boss killer in action. She's broken. Possibly one of the best characters in the game. It took me a while to realize that, by the way. And this is why. Not only does she heal herself a lot, this stupid bitch hit me with the wind tunnel. She may be slow, but she's also... this is a, She's actually sped up now, too. But she is amazing. She heals herself a ton of times. She has an amazing dodge. She has tentacles that come out of her body. You don't need to know the lore behind that. Unless you want to be... Well, let's just say uh, don't let the children help you be around when you get the lore. This ain't Disney in this bitch. We don't want that. So let's get out of here. Yeah, she's destroying everything. Like she, The reason I don't often use her is because she's too good. Like she, You don't even really get to play the game with her. She's so good. She does so much damage to everybody and everything. I don't even think I have her level 80. Oh, I do have her level 81. That's why I have the tentacle attack. Look at her go. She, nobody stands a chance against her. I'm going to show you why I call her the boss killer in a, in a little while, too. Don't you worry. There's a reason I call this chick the boss killer. She's Murasaki the boss killer. She puts in work. How dare you? Look at her health. She's not even hurt. She's, she's barely done any damage. Some people would probably be put off. Initially, when I first had this girl, I was like, yeah, I don't really like her. She's slow. She moves like sluggish. That's because she don't need to move faster than she is. If she moved any faster than she does, she would be, un like, touchable. You see the damage I'm doing? I'm barely trying here. I'm already at the boss. Yeah, yeah. Look at that face. Okay, that's not fair, game. The power of tentacles! The power of NC-17. I was totally delayed on that. I'm trying to look cool. You see, I'm playing with her, though. Like, this is, like... Why can't I get this dodge off? I want to cover her in tentacles. There we go. The fire does not burn for I. I'm the killer of all bosses. Look how fast that was. Look how good that was. And I was messing around. That's why I don't use her up. She's too good. She's just too good. You can't touch her. And that's that. Now, see, this is what I was talking about before. There's a hard mode you can play. This would be fun to play with other girls, right? Can't do it. It's locked off. Locked off forever. Until it comes back. Who else can we uh, send into the, the fire? I need somebody who can handle green. I don't have a green set on her right now. I'm not trying to take too long. We'll take her in. So I told you there's another girl that I had her outfit. 
To be fair, I could also make her green, make her blue. There is ability to do that, but you gotta take her off and then remove her. It's a whole thing. So her whole thing, I actually, she's the. This is the first costume I ever made. I need to change her color. I didn't have one, but look at the color difference. It's like slightly brighter. Or no, that. This is actually her standard outfit. The boss killer herself. She's trying to be a boss killer. She's trying to get out there. Trying to get live that life. You can't hate on it. And I actually got this. You know what's funny? I don't like this character much either. <laughs> I just don't like the way she plays. And her face looks funny. But she also, she's the first character I got this special suit for. Not because particularly I wanted it. But because there was a period of time where you had to really work to get stuff like that. And everything you got was up to chance. You had to get these little medals with their faces on it. in order to get these items as well as the materials to build it. Yeah, I'm not doing nearly as good with her, you see. And uh, back in the day, there was only, the only way you could get the little medals for the faces. Now you can get boxes of them and they give them out so many times. I have hundreds of them now. I can get them whenever I want. The materials still not so much. They're really hard to get. Unless you want to put in a little cash at this point, which Oh boy, we will talk about that another day. <laughs> we won't talk about the whole monetary issue in this game. Remember why I call it, I'll just say there's a reason I call all of the people who spend money on this game clownfishes of all sizes. It's not because they want to go home, I can tell you that. But, I don't like this character really at all. So, imagine my surprise when the only unique suit I could make when I was so excited I could make a new unique suit, because this game has unique suits that you can only make with the girls and they're very hard to make and they take a lot of stuff to do it. But I don't even like her. I got Murasaki's outfit. Of all the suits at the time in the game that I would have wanted to make, Sakura was the least favorite. What they really should do is make a costume for Sakura where she's tan. Real fans will know why that's important. Don't even go. Oh, I'm sorry. You should have, I should have let you see your thing. That's okay. We'll do one more. Later. I think one more and we'll be done. We can stop bullying Michael. Her outfit and her weapons do not match. I should have thought about that, but I was just trying to show you out the suit. I wasn't planning on keeping it. Actually, her the suit I had her in before was not new at all. It was just, it looked, wow, what a jerk. It was just, it's the best looking on her, in my opinion. Her face looks weird. She has a weird face. That's, that's just the long and short of it. She's not a pleasant face to look at. She's the few kind of, she's the couple beers kind of girl, you know? The couple of beers that you, you know, take her to her car and get her an Uber. And tell her she, to have a good night, obviously. What else does that mean? What are you attacking, lady? That was me. That was her. I just wanted to blame her. Because it's easy. She has shadow powers, though, and that's cool. Her powers are cool. Hopefully they give her a model upgrade in the future that makes her not look like a sleeping puppy. Rude. Also, she's got an annoying voice, which could also be said for Yukikaze, which, fun fact, I actually don't like her either. But she looks way better now. I didn't show you her in battle. Maybe another time. But you'll see her. You'll see her. The Battle of the Oranges. Annoying Orange versus Big Orange. 
Hollywood Orange going down. And that's it. I think that's enough. I can't remember my math. I believe I did I did the math one time. You would think it'd be 20k you need. It's not 20k that you need here. Nice. Oh yeah, here we go. This is Lilum. I'm gonna show you that. We'll end on that. This is the girl I was saying that should be playable. It comes full circle. How perfect that she's using her as a support. You see this thing? This thing right here? She needs to be playable. Particularly for no other reason other than that she can make enemies get confused. Like the succubus in the game. I think that's it though we'll end it there thanks for joining me on this grand adventure and if you like it let me know i'll do it again we had fun right <laughs>